Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's episode uh, comes from Andy, KC3SRU, and he has a question. Here's what his question is. Uh, I am a new technician class operator. Welcome to Ham Radio, and I am glad that you're getting on the air. I live on the second floor of a four-story wood frame building. Right now at home, I use a 10-watt handheld connected to a Comet SA 2x4SR mobile antenna with an 18-inch pizza pan as a ground plane. Good for you. That's good. Uh, which sits on a table on my balcony. Uh, I am considering a mobile radio with more power, but I'm concerned about interference with my or my neighbor's wireless devices. Is there, or what would be the maximum PEP at the antenna that would not interfere and keep me a good neighbor? Okay. Uh, there's a requirement that's not talked about a lot, but there is a requirement in the amateur radio that you use the least power required to maintain uh, communications. That's really wide open to interpretation. Okay, if you are reaching the repeaters that you want to reach with your handheld, you're fine. You're done. Okay, you've got everything that you need. If there is a repeater that you can hear but cannot work, then you might think about putting out more power. Okay, now look at, go into the RF safety section of the ARRL website and check the power output, the antenna you have, and what effect this would be having on the neighbors. Now, if your building is stucco, which a lot in California and stucco is becoming more popular even here in Colorado now that they have solved the cracking problem. It used to be water would get in the cracks in the stucco and then freeze and break off large blocks of stucco, but they've kind of fixed that now with a somewhat more elastic stucco. Uh, but behind that stucco is chicken wire, and that gives the stucco something to hold on to, and then the chicken wire, of course, is attached to the building. Now the problem is that that chicken wire acts as a Faraday cage and makes it very difficult for that signal to get out. If your building has some other kind of siding, um, it may be easier to get a signal out. You know, you've got it out in the balcony, which is the right place. What you might be able to do, if you can hook that uh, antenna directly to the balcony railing, um, with a few radials sticking out, you might be okay. If your neighbors object to that aesthetically, then you'd have to go back to the other arrangement that you have right now. Now, um, as far as putting out more power, if you can hear people who cannot hear you, then yes, by all means, a mobile rig will give you more power. Now, the most mobile rigs will give you 5 watts out, 25 out and 50 or 60 out. That high end power is probably too much. The 25 watts, however, might be worth the upgrade. 25 watts of power at VHF is not a lot of power and is not going to, uh, I don't think you'll have to check this with the uh, your situation with the RFI um, safety guidelines that are on the ARRL uh, website, but I wouldn't worry about 25 watts. I would start to worry about 40. If you can do it with 5 watts that you've got in your handheld, fine, leave it there. Some handhelds do as much as 10 watts. You're okay with that. And if you use that external antenna, you don't have a problem yourself with uh, uh, the radiation. So, I hope that helps answer your question. Basically, if you can hear it and work it, you're fine. If you can hear it, like a repeater you really want to get into because there's some guys there you really want to talk to, a little extra power may allow you to reach that. Note, of course, 
that more power will not help you hear better. And if you put too much power in there, people will start to hear you. And then when they transmit back, you won't hear them. So that is one of the reasons I don't like the trend these days to have higher and higher power uh, VHF, UHF rigs, because they just get to the point where you're just blasting the airwaves. Everybody can hear you, but you can't hear them. What's the point of that? So there you go, your standard rule of thumb. If you can't hear them, more power isn't going to help. If you can hear them, but they can't hear you, then you can consider higher power. If you can hear them and they can hear you full quieting, you're done. You got everything that you need. All right, hope that answers your question. There you have it. Giveaway number four is coming up. And this is giveaway number four right here. It's an antenna. It's an antenna by Alpha Delta. And it's uh, the model uh, DXEE. And it has traps for 40 and 20. So it'll work on um, whichever half of the 40 meter band you select. You can select like the lower half so you can work FT8. You can select the upper half so you can do sideband. Then it covers all of 20, all of 15, and the important part of 10 meters. Okay, so it's got um, a uh, it's a fan dipole plus it's the trapped dipole. It's a very nice antenna. They're kind of pricey. It's built like a Sherman tank. It is very very sturdy. It has another advantage. It is only 40 feet long and yet it will cover 40 meters. So, and it's got nice gray wire that's hard to see. Uh, this can be set up as an inverted V, even only 20 feet high, and so it'd be a great antenna in some HOAs that uh, will allow limited antennas, but not the great big ones. I kind of like this antenna. Uh, this was one of the antennas that I considered to be the reference station antenna. But because it only covered part of 40 meters, it was not selected. It's still a fine antenna. Um, here's how you enter. Send a postcard, QSL card, or a simple uh, envelope with a single sheet of paper in it. Send it to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. Send to me the giveaway number, which is number four, giveaway number four. Okay, put your name, call sign, your the address to which you want this mailed. It'll come via United States Postal Service, uh, priority mail, and um, also include in there your phone number in case I need to get in touch with you. Now note that I do not need your uh, email or anything like that. Uh, after the drawing, all entries will be destroyed. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you may certainly do so. Go to decastlercom support. There might be a way there that's just what you're looking for. So, until we next meet, 73.